What's up, brothers and sisters? This is Brother G. World 7 underscore D. I don't, <clears throat> I've talked about this before, but I want to um, say this again because I've been hearing numerous of people online say the most ignorant, asinine things, man, from talking about our people need to stop using phonics, <laughs> other than one Negro and another Negro sit there who continue to believe that so-called black cell around the world and they traded amongst each other and they planted their culture in different regions of the world. I've said that over and over again and I don't understand why this doesn't get through the head of some Negro. There's one little Negro with this little snot nose talking cell with glasses attacks everyone who don't say they're just African. You know, I just, I, and this guy's an idiot and he, he comes hard, man, but it's, it's, it's obvious that he has not done no real research, and he's going by what his little white professors or his Negro professors at his HBCU university, which he probably attended, told him, indoctrinated him with. And it's really sad that too many of our brothers and sisters do not take the time out, do the research. Man. You want to spend all your money on some alligator shoes. But don't try to spend your money and try to do some real research and get books and documents. You don't want to do that, but you want to spend your money and throw it away on frivolous, goofy stuff like PlayStation 6 or 7, whatever the hell is on now. So, but, and there's nothing wrong with having fun, but some of my people just really are stuck on stupid. And it's sad to say that. And it seems like a lot of these Negroes with the degree. And some of them who don't have them, but a lot of these niggas with the degrees are some of the biggest idiots you'll find, man. And so, I talked about this before, but I'm going to go over this again. This is one of my earlier videos, but I would just want you to pick up right here. And it's dealing with Molly, all right? Now, here it is. Let me get a clear focus on this, because it's in the Psychopedia. And it's in my Compton's Encyclopedia. This is volume 14. With the letter M. Alright, right, here we go. If I <clears throat> get a good focus. Alright, what I want to go to. And the part that I want to read. Okay. The part that I want to read. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it focused. I don't know if we get the focus, but I really don't care, okay? Um, I'm just going to read it. Uh, I wish I had to get it focused, though. Black peoples, particularly when it says black peoples, include various agricultural, settled groups of Bambara, Saniki, Malinki, and Songhai. Now look at the two, okay, look at this. Black peoples include various agricultural, settled groups of Bambara, Saniki, Ma Linky Saniki Ma Linky and Sanghai Saniki Ma Linky Alright, now I don't show you that. I showed you this before. Ma Linty Ma Linty Ma Linchi. Ma Linchi. Ma Linchi. And obviously, it's Molly. I've said this before. This is Molly. Marina. Molly. Chi. As in Gullah Geechee. Appalachee. Chi. Alright, and I'm going to go. And I showed you. Malinki, Malinchi. <laughs> I keep telling brothers, this stuff, this stuff is right in your face, man. And then, and I went to before, and I'm doing this again. I'm going to the definition part because I'm gonna. I don't know if many people have seen that video, but I'm going. I'm doing this one again. I'm going to who this girl was and how her name was pronounced. Here it is. 
Mali Nali Mali Nali The pronunciation is Mali Nali Mali Nali and I want to get it clearer I hate it it does this man I have another phone that can do Mali Mali Nali Mali Ma Mali Nali Mali Nali Mali Nali Original name of La Malinchi Mali Nali Malinchi Malinki Malinchi Malinki Malinchi or La Malinchi Malinche 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 The Indian name of respect for Mali Nali the daughter of an Aztec chieftain who became mistress and interpreter of Cortez. I mentioned this in that video before. The Indians also called Cortez by this name. All right. This is Marina. 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 Ma Linche. Marina. Ma Linche. Ma. No, that Ma. Rina. The Christian name given to Mali Nali by Cortez. Also, Donna Marina. All right. Now, like I said before, this is chick. Trying to tell you this, this chick was a mandingo, bro. <laughs> and so when you get these goofballs who tell you that the black peoples were not here in ancient America. <laughs> they don't know what the hell they talking about, man. We were the indigenous people in ancient America, and I've always mentioned there was various different types of black people who came here to the Americas. And those are pyramids. Remember the pyramids I told you before in the tomb on top? Remember the ones I showed you before from Copan and Takao? You see that right here. It's on this, on this little book image. All right, but I, I, I want to say this, man. <laughs> Is that this cannot be denied no more, man. The freaking Mali, man, or the, the freaking Aztecs were Malian Moors. They were Moors, man. <laughs> and what all they did was built on top of older black civilizations that were already here. I explained this in prior videos. They built on top of older black civilizations. They were able to learn the knowledge from the black people who were there before them. Because, like I said before, the Malinians were the Anastasi. And Anastasi abandoned their uh, structures. They abandoned their structures. But those same people you find in West Africa. And in one of the books I read said that the people from South America went to West Africa. This is what happened. They built their civilization there and they abandoned there and they went to another location and built there. Our people travel back and forth. This is common sense. This is not my opinion. This was a fact. Now if some of you, some brothers and sisters want to be just slaves from Africa and say we're just African, then man, buy your ticket and just go to Africa and say I'm home. Other than that, man, shut your ass up. We are indigenous to this land. This is our land. This is our culture. This is our home. Stop with the foolishness. Continue to learn your true history. It's obvious who the Aztecs were. They were millennium moors. That's who the hell they were. And Mansa Musa was Montezuma. And I believe 
It's some more stuff I, I, I can say to this, but like I told you before in prior videos, they use the many different riverbeds in South America and America, as well as the Atlantic Ocean, to travel to different locations. That's how you see these mounds are built. They're built by large water, uh, bodies of water, so they're able to travel through those very different locations, and they built those different structures. They knew the art of shipbuilding and sailing in those ships. They knew how to sail and what sail what time of year. They knew the wind currents. They knew the wind pull of the river currents. They knew all this, man. So this is, I, I don't see how this continue to be denied. And then when you look at a lot of these figures from ancient black America, which I showed you before, you'll see in one picture two different black groups. You see one black group dressed as a black European, and you see a black another black person look like a black um, Aboriginal American. And you can tell the difference, how they look actually physically, but you look at the way they were dressed, you can tell the difference. How some of them black Moors were wearing that damn garb and stuff. I I'm telling you, man, this information is in your face. But you Negroes keep, some of you Negroes keep talking about your DNA test, take you back to Africa. What's ridiculous, man? And some of you Negroes are sound, really sound, starting to sound really crazy and ridiculous. Your history is all over the world, but your history mainly here in Americas. Alright? Your history is mainly here in the damn Americas. This is your history. This is your damn history. You had pyramid building here in America. You had pyramid buildings in Africa. You had pyramid buildings in Asia. There was a connection between all those groups of black people. Black people built around the damn planet. You have to understand that. You must understand that. And like I said before, there's nothing wrong with the word black Actually, what white folks have done and white scholars have done and made everything uh, black negative. Like I said before, black represent the black rich fertile soil where grass, where plants, where the root of trees come from the rich black soil. Being put in the image of black was giving you the highest regard because life comes from the black soil. Alright brothers and sisters man, this is me doing this quick video today. I want to do something else man, I'm, I may do one later in the day, but I'm going to watch a little college basketball and lay down and do some reading. Yeah, I'm going to watch a little college basketball, I'm going to watch this Tennessee and Auburn game. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch uh, some SEC college basketball, I'm going to watch some HBCU actually. They come on WG in here, I think they did a contract with them. You know, so they, I think it's the CIAA or whatever. So, I'm going to look at me some little... Tennessee and Auburn game. Should come on about, shoot, about, what, about 20 minutes or something. But I want to uh, watch this basketball game. Maybe look at a little bit of the Memphis and uh, Tulane game. Uh, look at Penny Hardaway, what he's doing with his team. But uh, I just wanted to sit there and say that and give you that quick little video for the day. Um, hopefully I come out with one later on in the day. But I, I tell you this now, I definitely will try to make one of these by Monday. Uh, but I just want brothers and sisters to realize Continue to do the research. There's some brothers and sisters who I, who I see online doing a great job. And then he's, he got these little goofballs. Like that little snot-nosed dude with the glasses. <laughs> Running his mouth. You ain't just African. You ain't ashamed to be African. You have Africophobia, man. Shut your ass up, man. My God. You got these idiots on here, man. They're really miseducating our people. They really are. They're really miseducating our people. We need to learn our true history. We need to learn who we really are. Most of us did not do not come from no African village and brought here no slave ship from Africa. Most of our ancestors were already here. Some of our ancestors were exported out of here, but some of our, most of our ancestors were already here. These were the blacks who were already here. They were enslaved here. I know it's hard for some Negroes to phantom this, but that's what happened. And then they obviously, I mentioned before, they shipped a lot of the black Moors out of Europe and to here and some of them made a stop over Africa so you had some black Europeans and black Africans on the same damn ship but most in most cases you, you had like a little aboriginal black woman or black European man or vice versa mating with each other we still that's one reason why we still maintain our dark skin some like the other tribes you know uh, adopting 
and then mating with these little Asians or these white folks, bleaching their asses out of existence. Or better yet, in many instances, they're kicking the black people out. When actually it was the black people, they tell us that the Asians adopted the Negroes. No, it was the other way around. It was the blacks who adopted them in their culture. And you can see it in New Orleans, New Orleans, a lot of the black people doing them dances that you've seen what the Aztecs did with their celebrations. So it's just, this is so freaking obvious. Do not listen to these goofy clowns, man, on YouTube giving you misinformation. This is one little weasel out of New York. He's an idiot. All he does is troll. And all he, he does is attack Aboriginal black America. He's an idiot. And I think he's of a Haitian extraction of Puerto Rican, whatever. He's a goofball. You know, but uh, I'm telling you right now, brothers and sisters, learn your history. Love your history. Understand your history. Reclaim your history. Take back your history. It's all your history. Peace and love, brothers and sisters. I'm out.